I shall discuss some programs based on data types in C. These programs will help you develop an understanding on different data types. Ask the user to enter a 5 digit number. Then we have to display only the first 4 of them. Suppose the user enters this number. Then we have to write code to display only the first 4 of these digits. This problem is about dropping the last digit. If we remove the last digit, we will be left with the first 4 of them. And, that will be the solution to this problem. Dividing a number by 10 gives a fractional number. The fraction can be dropped by storing this in an int type of a variable. Compiler will truncate the literal so that we shall be left with the first four digits. We can see that this code will cause only the first four digits to be stored in X. We can then display X. We can now begin to write the program. You should include all the required headers and directives. I haven't shown them here. Display a message to the user asking for input. The user has to enter a 5-digit number. An int type of variable will be sufficient to hold the input number. Use the extractor to read the standard input. The variable number will contain the entered number. Divide the entered number by 10 and store the result in a float. Next we explicitly cast the float and store the result in an int variable. This casting will help us remove the fractional part. In this way we'll be left with the first four digits of the entered number. Lastly, display the number. We have to write a program that asks the user to enter an English character. Then we have to display back the next succeeding character. If the user enters X we have to display Y. If the user enters M, then we have to display N. First of all, we are dealing with individual characters of text. So we shall need char type of variables to store our data. Secondly, we know that the compiler stores chars as ASCII numbers. And, the C standard specifies that English chars are consecutive ASCII numbers. So, basically, we have to add one to the input, and display it back. This will solve our problem.
we can now start writing the program. When you write this, do include all the headers and directives. Display a message that asks the user for an input. This variable will store the character entered by the user. Use the extraction operator to read the user input into K. HR is internally stored as a number. To obtain the next ASCII number, add 1 to K. Now M contains the next character. Finally, display the character to the console output. If the user enters 428, then we have to write code to display the last digit. The output display should be 8 in this case. So we have to display only the last digit. Here we are dividing a number by 10. The remainder, as we can see, is 8. The last digit is the remainder. We can verify this by dividing 428 by 10. The remainder in this case also is the last digit. Remainder after division of a number by 10. The remainder is always same as the last digit. The main question is how to get the remainder using C? We have a modulus operator in C. This operator has the same symbol as the percent sign but it is a different operator. It is nowhere similar to percent. Here 7 modulus 3 is 1. From this calculation we can see that when 7 is divided by 3, remainder is 1. We can now write the program. Obtain the remainder after dividing the number by 10. For this we should use the modulus operator. Display the reminder, which is same as the last digit of the input number. Here are two things that you should keep in mind. Last digit of a number can be dropped by using the division operator. Last digit can be obtained by using the modulus operator. Thank you.